Hi guys. Today I want to show you how to use my female crow key and you can also find this one in my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, have a look at the shop. The link is down below in the description. So first things first, I always trace my crow key onto some fresh watercolor paper. And today we're going to do a super nice couture gown from Christian Lacroix. Christian Lacroix is like a French designer and I really, really love him and his couture is super nice and this one is so whimsical. It's like a, the wedding dress that finishes the show and it has little postcards on it. Anyway, so I'm going to start with the top and I want to start with the neckline. It's really important to kind of get the right shape. So neckline first and then the decoration that goes all the way around it. The sleeves are really particular peculiar because they're not attached up there at the sleeve head so they're kind of flopping around it's a bit medieval style and then there's this ornament let's have a look at the picture and this one we want to kind of catch it very well and sketch all the embroidery there so there's a corset that's full of really beautiful metal embroidery and the jacket is kind of like a silk with the moiré effect which makes it look a bit like tree bark and now all the little details and I want to do the earrings now and also the cool crown on her head. I really like especially the accessories. So I want to make sure that this is like a good 3D shape and that I'm filling all the details there. Little stars all around the top and then kind of fill it with hair and the hairstyling is all tight upwards like this. A few shadows there. I really like this little shadow under the chin. So let's have a look at the general shape of the skirt and kind of map that one down so there's this double moment happening where you have a little top kind of um, part and then the lower part and then after I have the general shape I like to do the kind of wavy hemline and then I pull lines up all the way to the waist so it looks very nice and drapey and wavy and all the volume is kind of floating around. I just keep one foot and that one's sort of sticking out and I'm adding a second kind of sheer layer on top of the basic layer and the whole skirt is kind of like a petticoat and I'm adding all these little love letters everywhere around. So the general outfit is there, what's missing is the bridal, um, what's it called? <laughs> uh, yes? And now it's time to start with the color. So in today's class, um, I'm doing real watercolors and I have my little travel set and it's really nice. And before I start to put the color, I want to clean up a little bit with my um, eraser and get rid of really harsh lines. Now let's have a look at the picture and copy the tones. The main tone is uh, going to be a warm kind of gray and I'm already applying this now to all the kind of darkest shadow parts and especially like the wavy bits of the hem and all of these pleats. We need the shadows to really work the 3D, the volume into those lines. So one by one I'm filling them, them and I'm using my um, brush pen which I really start to enjoy. First I was a little bit like reserved about them because they're like kind of slightly untraditional but then again for watercolor they do lovely lovely things and great blending. So we've um, put the first layer of shadows and now I'm mixing up some little gold for the jacket there's lots of gold and gold is not really a color right so it's more of a metallic effect so we're going with these ochre yellowish tones but I'm using like two three maybe even four to get all that kind of richness of real gold into it um, and then I'm also adding kind of gray and more dark darker shades just to really get the um, shadows of the garment because we want to obviously make sure that we can see that this is a separate jacket and then there's a corset. So now I've mixed up a different gray. It's a little bit bluer just to get um, some kind of variety into it and I've done the jacket. Now some skin tone to mix up um, to make her skin kind of nice and tan and I usually go for kind of pink and ochre with a bit of blue. Now back to the grays. I'm going for a much darker one to really deepen all of these shadows to make them pop. And a little bit of red now for the lips, the cheeks and the hair up there which makes it look like roses. And now this is the speciality that I want to do today is I'm using a white color pencil and I'm blending over everything to make it kind of smoother and I can add highlights and all of this. Now 
this looks nice last thing in this um, sketch and guys this was actually a three hour sketch with my students and i've just kind of narrowed it down, down to seven minutes so to round it up i round it up i really like to put now the name and kind of the collection so this is christian lacroix and i'm trying a little bit of a calligraphy moment here with my brush pen which kind of works and looks pretty and then this was um haute couture so the haute couture and the collection was 2009 in spring a little bit of depth to the black to make it pop and yeah the only thing that's missing now is my signature so let's put that and yeah that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed it um i hope to make more of these videos so like and subscribe subscribe